amazing how many people that are in a terminal situation can reverse it if they take control of their own, you know, issues. More people should do it. But we give it all up to MDs, the right prescriptions for drugs from drug companies that own them. I have five programs and then I have some packages. And uh, the program, program one consists of five items, which are the five basic items that uh, everyone with hepatitis C should take each day. <clears throat> and there's a lot of reasons for that. For instance, people often say, well, why do you have selenium in your programs? Hepatitis C depletes selenium, selenium from your body. And when you take the selenium out of your body, you get cancer. And it's a statistical fact that people with hepatitis C get eight times more cancer than people who don't have hep C. And one of the reasons is because they're depleted of selenium. There's a lot of studies that show selenium prevents cancer. People who eat food grown in soil that's rich in selenium get far less cancer than people who eat so food grown in soil that has none. And selenium is removed by food from the soil, and unless it's replaced, it's, uh, it's not there. So it's one of the items in my program one to help, you know, everybody should take 400 MCGs of it a day. In fact, sick or not, I think everybody should take it. And another item is lipoic acid. Disease states deplete lipoic acid. Lipoic acid runs around in your body and takes bad things out. It's an antioxidant. And an even better one, which is a little more expensive, is this new acetyl s glutathione. Most people with hep C in their lab work, you'll see the those, those a lot of things people don't know what mean, like the MPV and the MHCH. All of those things, most of those things normalize after about two or three months of taking the uh, acetyl S glutathione. And it, it improves, you have a little more energy, you feel better, because it's a very good antioxidant that gets inside your cells. It's far more efficient at getting in your cells than, than lipoic acid is. Works pretty darn good. And another item in the in program one is thymus, which boosts your immune system. And then there's dandelion tea, which dandelion has been used for well over a thousand years for liver disease. Dandelion removes toxins. When your liver is impaired, it doesn't remove the toxins from your blood as well. And dandelion does that. It makes the overall state of your being better. And the other, see, I got lipoic acid, selenium, thymus, dandelion, and there's one more item in there, which would be milk thistle. And milk thistle, aside from being an overall antioxidant, strengthens liver cell walls. This allows toxins to flow through your body, through your liver, without damaging it as much. When people accidentally eat poisonous mushrooms, one of the things many hospitals in this country use is milk thistle, and a lot of it, to save these people, otherwise they would die. A couple of recent studies in the last couple of months, they used milk thistle on people that were doing heavy chemo for cancers, and it lowered ALT and AST consistently in the studies, and improved people's health. But on the hepatitis C front, you consistently hear the medical community saying that milk thistle doesn't do anything. And I'm sorry, but it does. Program one sounds pretty awesome. Why would you need so many programs? Well, <clears throat> program one helps with the things that are depleted, helps a little bit here and there. And I just read an email from a person just a little while ago that was saying how great they felt. They've been doing program one in the VEP2 for three months, and it literally has altered their life. They've only had hep C for 14 years. Uh, she's only uh, 31 years old. It's made a, just a heck of a difference in her life. But the reason you need more, 
most people are more advanced than that. Uh, the other things, there's extra glandulars in the other programs, and, and you can get like, for example, program one with NAT cell or without NAT cell. Now that's a big expense, but if you're in fibrosis or cirrhosis stages, NAT cell makes all the difference in the world. It's the difference between a decline to death and a rise back up to being normal again. Uh, and the programs advance like that. There's more and more stuff in them. And sometimes more and more isn't always best for people with FC. Especially if your liver is super compromised and you're in cirrhosis. I have a cirrhosis package which just really supplies some of the things that are essential that a cirrhosis people often have. Like they need magnesium. They're depleted. They're depleted in, in potassium. Their platelets are low. So we have Norwegian shark liver oil in there, which is famous for raising platelets. Disease states deplete things that you need, and replacing those may not cure the disease, but it certainly makes life more healthy. And then there's some things in the programs that help you fight it. So it, it, they're based on your ability to pay. If, if you can't afford the big one, you do the one that does the best that you can afford. In the packages, like there's the cirrhosis package and the VEP and the VEP2, those help lower the viral load quite a bit. They're pretty nice. Um, almost everybody's happy with them. And they buy them over and over and over again, which means they're working. So if someone's confused by all this stuff, they could call and talk to you about which program might be appropriate for them? Yes, we're here and we, we actually have humans and answer the phone. And actually the phone company is here right now. <laughs>